All right, how's it going, YouTube? YouTube people, beautiful people of YouTube. You thought I was never gonna do one of these, huh? Thought I was never gonna get back to, to just, just you guys. You know, not the Instagram crew, but just you guys. Of course I was. I was going to come back to you. Show you guys what I'm about here. Okay? I'm going to do an awesome painting today. And I want you guys to have fun. Enjoy yourselves a little. Make sure you smile. <laughs> Make sure you laugh a little bit. And here we go. Um, somewhere around there. Something from around here? No, down here. Let's do it right here. All right. Somewhere around there. Super intuitive, super awesome, super fun. Couldn't have it any other way. This is where it's going to be, right here. So yeah. So, I've been playing a lot with becoming looser, you know? Looking at that thing that, you know, creates the work. Not me, but what creates the work? Who's who's painting? Is it me, or is it, or is it a, a something else? You know, because I know one thing. Every time that I try to paint, it's almost like if I'm interrupting. It's a strange, it's a weird concept. It's a strange little concept. Every time I try to paint, like me, my my mind. And I'm like, oh, more blue here. Oh, there's blue there. Every time I do that, it's almost like I'm interrupting him. Not almost. I am interrupting the master. I know it sounds spooky, but it's not. Some of you may think it sounds spooky. Depending on your belief system. It's not spooky at all. Let's raise it a little bit even more. Not more on there. Or we can mimic this a little bit better. The reason why I think it's because it's intuitive and 
If it's intuitive, it should be intuitive, not, not clever. There's a fine line, and I think that only practice, again, I go back to practice, 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 is the one thing that's going to get you out of being, trying to be clever. If, if that's your, if that's where you're stuck. Because many times, as artists, we, we, we talk about being uh, creative, but really what, and this has been my experience, really what, what I was saying is not necessarily creative, because creativity comes from uh, another place, not from, not from my head. Really what I was saying is, how can I be more clever? How can I be more clever? How can I like, do certain little things that make it clever? You know? And until I start putting that down and, and, and not focus on that. In the beginning, you do focus on that for the most part. But every time I started focusing on that much less, start realizing, oh man, this is really nothing to do with being clever. This is about, about uh, just that, uh, it's a weird concept. It's letting go, but maintaining, uh, in, in the letting go is where you maintain the control. If I make any sense, you don't let go and and lose control. You let go to to gain control. To gain control. In this type of painting, of course, this is most like most likely not true if you're if you're doing some other type of artwork. But in this intuitive work, is in the letting go, and this does not mean. Letting go does not mean being careless. You have to practice. I always go back to that. It doesn't mean you're being careless. What it means is that is that you are you're not um, you're not trying to at least so hard to control the situation. And you control less. And you control less. And something else arises. Something much, much more true arises. I've heard many artists talk about, well, not many, but a, a good handful, I can say I met, talk about um, how that's possible when you start letting go, how everything starts becoming more, you start understanding more. Certain things that maybe you, maybe maybe they, they didn't come easy to you. Maybe, you know, ideas. Um, colors. You know, maybe you do. You start making mistakes that, that, look, that look like mistakes but are not mistakes. They are, I, mistake is not even the right word to, to use because they're not mistakes at all. But, it, but in the eyes of someone else, it might look like a mistake. You start doing that kind of that kind of deal, and one of the reasons a lot of people don't want like to let go is because of that. Because they feel like they're doing mistakes. I assure you, you're not doing mistakes. If you keep practicing, you keep you keep learning. You're not doing mistakes. You really you're really just learning. You're learning how to how to let that other aspect of you. More intelligent aspect of your paint. Because there's a there's a more intelligent aspect that doesn't necessarily. It's it's you know just think about it. Just think about it for a little bit. Look how much how much data we collect. And I know there's science behind it, and people talk about it all the time. But just think about how much data we collect as human beings since the day we're born, and smells experiences, uh, things we experience through our senses, through our eyes, things we experience uh, maybe on a spiritual level, you know, whatever that is, or, you know, it seems to be different. I mean, it's probably the same thing, but it seems to be expressed differently or talked about differently. Just think about all of that. We are sponges. 
And the fact that we don't remember, it's not because we need to remember. I don't think so. And then the fact that we don't remember doesn't make sense. You know, like we don't remember every detail of everything. I mean, I know there's science behind it. I'm not trying to sound like I have no idea about the science behind it, really. Uh, I'm not sure if the people who have the science behind it maybe have it, have the whole picture. I'm sure they have partial picture, but have the whole picture. Because it's such a spiritual thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard drives and hard drives and hard drives of senses. Sense, you know, all the senses that we uh, experience, all this, all this sensory. Don't you think that as you're creating artwork, this is not uh, some conspiracy or anything, of course not. I don't even like that stuff. Seems like my this. But don't you think in a in a in a in a real level that when you paint something or you're creating something, you're really picking up yes from what you're looking at, what you study, but also from all of the senses that you've collected. You're picking up from all of the senses that you've collected. That to me, is, that to me is a, I mean, it's part of my French. It's a fucking miracle, you know. And we're able to do that. And we're able to collect from from past experiences. Who knows? You know, maybe even future experiences that we're not aware of. You know, maybe uh, uh, who knows? I mean, we're like spiritual beings. Who knows if we have like um, multi-dimensional experiences? I'm sh hell, I'm sure we have. We're having multi-dimensional experiences as I'm talking right now. Uh, in the sense, not not in a not in a please believe what I'm talking about sense. No, and, and like I think that the whole world is like multitasking. You know, the whole existence in a very organized way. You know. I don't know if multitasking is the right word, but something's happening. All these traditions, you know, I think they're pointing at something. And, and it's, it's, I think it's a little curious to try to figure it out. I think it's, it's just enjoy it, you know, just know a little bit of it, maybe. I don't know. Kind of like, why do mothers love their children so much? You know? Uh... Who cares? Just enjoy the love. Like, like sure, if you want to make that your life's purpose, go for it. But, you know, it comes a point where you're like, well, who cares? What matters is that it is. Look at that. Man, I'm a hell of an artist. I'm telling you guys, we're going places. We're going places. I love this. I mean, just our sensory, I think, is super crazy. That the fact that we're able to capture so much, you know, through our senses, I think it's, it's, it's super. It's mind blowing. Not remember, not remember so much. I mean, that's that's incredible. People that can remember stuff, can memorize math problems, or can, or are extremely intelligent in that sense. I'm not talking about intelligence. I'm talking about I'm talking about wisdom. Wisdom and intelligence. Intelligence is cool. It's like talking about happiness. There's two different things. They look similar, but they're two different things. It's like talking about happiness and, and peace. They're two different things. Happiness, I would compare it to, to intelligence. You know, it's, it's fleeting. It comes. It goes. It's awesome. It's you know, it's definitely worth having around. But you you want to stick to peace. Peace is where the 
This is where the pie is at. This is this is the goal. Maybe it's not a goal, but this is definitely jumpier. So there you guys have it. Check it out. Golden Gate. A la Jose Trujillo. Hope you guys had a wonderful time here with me. Enjoy my Genesis Quas. World's greatest living artist. Bam. Let me show you guys what it looks like at the end. <laughs> Man, if I get any better than this, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Guys, take care. I will talk to you soon. Be awesome. Look, under 17 minutes. Man, I'm good. I feel like that guy from uh, from uh, The Quick and the Dead. That, that kid played by Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio. You guys have seen that movie? I'm like, man, I'm fast. Man, I'm good. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.